hey guys this is David for Big Bits and welcome back in this video we're gonna be taking a look at some of the updates from TradingView here recently uh, hopefully you'll notice I have a brand new microphone up here this is the uh, blue Yeti um, well I don't know if it's if you'd call it the blue Yeti this is just the Yeti caster it's a nice uh, black microphone it's not actually blue but hopefully you can hear me all right I don't have to talk directly into it um, but it, Judging from the audio levels, it looks like it's plenty loud enough. I just might sound a little different than normal because I'm not using the headset. Uh, it got kind of tiring to wear the headset all the time, so glad to have ditched that. Hopefully, uh, keep it like this forever now. Hopefully, the audio is good enough. But we're going to take a look at some of the changes that they've made on TradingView recently. And one change you might notice just by looking at my screen right here, you'll notice the background to my chart looks slightly different because they added gradient backgrounds to the chart now if you're not familiar with what a gradient is uh, this is kind of like a graphic design term that they use a lot and it, all it means is just you're fading kind of from one color to another you're, it's like a transition from one color to another here you have a two color gradient i have a black up at the top of the screen i have a gray at the bottom you can do any color and i'll show you how we're going to do that in just a minute but there's also another new feature which is the ability to apply one particular indicator from one of your charts to all of your charts on an entire layout. So uh, we'll do that here on this particular chart. I have Bitcoin and I have Ethereum pulled up on the weekly chart. So we'll add an indicator on here and we'll use that new feature to add that indicator to both charts. So let me go to the indicator section. Let's go to built-ins. Let's do the auto fib retracement okay so you can see it added the auto fib retracement here on the weekly chart on bitcoin now i need to show my uh, indicators here and you'll notice there is not an option here to do that you'll have to click on the ellipses for the more options click there and you'll see a new option that says add this indicator to the entire layout and it should add this indicator over to our Ethereum chart on the right side of the screen. So let's go ahead and try this out now. There you go. Uh, it took care of it very nicely. It added it to both charts. Personally, I don't really want this on my charts that I'm using here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that, but you get the idea of how that can work. We've also shown you how to use the indicator templates here on TradingView as well so that you can actually save uh, all of these different types of indicators on your chart and you can actually go up to your template options and add those onto a particular chart uh, itself using your template. So that's actually really cool and it also saves all of your settings as well. And I didn't test it out on the auto fib retracement there, but I would imagine that if it's gonna copy that indicator on the other charts, it's probably gonna copy the settings as well, although that might not be true. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move forward. The other thing was the gradient background and let's go ahead and this is a chart setting. Right now you can see I have the left chart highlighted or selected, you know, it's the blue border around it. So I'm gonna click on the chart settings up here and let's zoom in here. You can see there's a option for the appearance. You'll have to go to this tab on the chart settings then you'll see background and by default it should say solid but i have chosen gradient and i went from a black to a gray but just to kind of show you how this actually works let's go from uh, one bright color to another so let's go from yellow to blue or excuse me um yellow here we go and then i gotta select the other color and then choose blue so there we go i've changed that chart to now it has this yellow and blue gradient it's absolutely hideous so i'm not going to be using this i'm going to revert back to what i had before i'm going to use the black and then i'm also going to use the gray although the black and the blue isn't really terrible um see they do give you a color picker so you can kind of play around with that however you want as well if you really wanted to find the perfect color uh me I don't really care all that much. I kind of like how it was just with this black and this very dark gray. But that is it. That Those are the changes that they have for now. And if you're curious, I did do a live stream recently with some TA here looking at Bitcoin and Ethereum and some other altcoins as well. Um, hoping to get back into making more videos soon and keeping up with everyone. And of course, 
If you haven't already checked out the channel, please subscribe because if you're watching this video, you're, you're this far through, you're probably going to be interested in some of the other videos I do. I do a lot of TradingView update videos where we talk about some of the features that they've added, but I also do a lot of PineScript tutorial videos or PineScript development videos where we discuss how to build our own indicators and strategies on TradingView. One of my favorite ones is this one here. This is the Stochastic Weights, just a weighted stochastic indicator with all kinds of different stochastics and uh, oscillating indicators that range from zero to 100 just I apply different weights to them and I think they do a little bit better job of capturing momentum than just an individual oscillator itself so I really like this one myself and you could probably use the open source version that I have the basic one um, and use that as a reference to kind of get started if you're interested in it but yeah so if you like the video please go ahead and leave a like on the video I appreciate that very much Otherwise, while you're down there, or if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. That helps a lot. And again, you'll get updates on the channel going forward. And hopefully, we're going to have a lot more content here soon. But that is going to be it for the video today, guys. Thank you. I appreciate your time, and have a great day.